How's it going, meatheads? Back with you for another video. I mentioned in my last video that I took with my phone that I wanted to do some like product reviews or product overviews for you guys. And so I have kind of moved the bike out of its spot. I don't know if you can hear my cat meowing, but um, anyway, I thought I would do a couple of product reviews just in case if you're looking for those late winter mods that you might want to do. Um, I decided I wanted to do the uh, fueling vented dipstick as a first like winter project or winter mod overview. Um, mainly because I've gotten a couple questions about it and I think that it, I ought to clear the air on it a little bit because a lot of people probably think that, well, it's just a dipstick. What is, what's the difference between that and the, uh, regular dipstick that comes with your Harley? You know, what's the point of upgrading it? Is it really worth almost $300? So I thought I would clear the air a little bit on that. So to start with your stock dipstick is pretty much just a piece of plastic. You know, it's got your uh, fill measurements on it. But it's it's just there. I mean, I hardly probably costs or charges like a hundred dollars to replace this thing, which is you know not worth it by any means. But the fueling vented dipstick is around three hundred dollars. I think it's two seventy nine on their website, and um, it comes with a couple of different attachments that you can use. So I'm running the. Uh, actual vent line that goes up. I have it routed up and around and down to where I have just a little filter down here. You guys can see that. Um, I decided to go with that option because they say it breathes better and breathes more. And I'd have to agree that it feels like it, it breathes pretty well doing that. Um, what I will say though is that it's kind of a hard sell at $279 because um, at least when you look at it online, but in person, when you actually hold it, it is a one solid piece of billet of aluminum. And if you know anything about billet parts, they are more expensive because you get rid of the imperfections that can happen if you do a cast part. Obviously, with a dipstick, it seems a little bit overkill, but, um, I think that fueling did a really good job of making that part and I will probably be putting one on every bike from now on because the thing that I noticed and what other people have said that they noticed when you switch to the uh, vented dipstick because there's not as much pressure that gets pushed back into the crankcase and therefore into your oil pan it allows that pressure to go up and out. I noticed that the bike revs just a tad bit quicker. I mean, it could be just my seat of the pants saying that it's revving quicker, but I mean, it's something that you probably have to try yourself to really understand it. But for me, I noticed that it revs quicker. Um, it didn't solve the issue that I was having. And I think I know why I'm still having this issue. And the issue I'm describing is if you guys can see this residue, that's oil that still collects down in the bottom of my air cleaner from my breathers. So because my breathers don't route into my intake, which doesn't allow oil to go into my intake and into my engine and, you know, completely goober up the engine on the inside, it goes down and then it builds up. And then at some point it gets to be enough oil in there that it comes down and gets on my pipe. But there's no way really to remedy that because that's just how this breathing system works. And I also think it's partially due to the fact that I run 20, 20 W50 all year round. And if you read Harley's manual, it says that during temperatures of above 70, 80 degrees, you should almost be running 60 weight oil all the time. Well, that just doesn't work here because like on an 80 degree forecasted day in the morning, it will be 60 degrees or even 50 degrees. So I'm running too heavy of an oil early in the morning 
but I'd be running the right way to oil in the evening or afternoon. That just, that doesn't work. So I just run 20W50 all the time. So that way I can go and ride my bike to work in the morning and still ride at home. You know, it's, uh, I think it's just going to be an issue that I got to get used to. I'm sorry guys, if I'm like shaking, it's like still 10 degrees outside or 18 degrees and it's snowing. But I thought I'd get you guys a quick little video. Um, I want to pull this out, the dipstick out, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't really want to get anything in there. As you can see, my bike is all dusty and I don't have anything to plug my, uh, or cover over, uh, fill head. So, uh, I am just going to pretend just probably throw up a couple of pictures here of the dipstick. The thing I do like about this dipstick is it does have really clear indicators of all the oil levels and both sides. It gives you the side to read when the bike is hot on the stand or hot upright, which is nice. They're nice and build, they're drilled in or milled into the billet. So they're nice and solid. They're not like just raised out edges like that. Like how, like sometimes it's hard to read this even as the oil can kind of like slightly go down as you're pulling it out. And then all of a sudden it's not in the holes here on the fueling one. Whenever I've read that dipstick, it is clear as day where your oil level is at, no matter whether you're upright or on the stand when you're, when you're hot. Um, it's, an awesome product and like I said I would probably buy it again depending on what bike I get next if I get another bike that is but <sighs> I just thought I'd get you guys a quick you know eight ish minute video on uh, the fueling dipstick because I've had a few of you guys comment in the in on a couple of videos asking me what I thought of it was it worth the money and all that so I thought I'd get you guys a quick video on it um, hopefully this uh, quality is better and I hope the audio is good because I'm not doing a mic. I am just going with the GoPro mic. So hopefully everything is good. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to see more motorcycle content. But until then, I'll see you guys later.